Welcome to Strider Tree Gear. In this part of our negative rigging series, I'm gonna demonstrate a very simple form of negative rigging for a small to medium, fairly light duty stuff, where all you need is your rope, um, and you can even use a climber uh, belayed system if you don't have a groundy on hand who's ready to, to run the ropes of the port wrap. All you'll need to do is for this safe stuff is just a rope. So hopefully you'll find that useful and interesting, and uh, here we go. So, made to the top of the tree, I've made a cut, the chipper's been fired up and the groundies aren't paying attention, so they're running the chipper, they're off on the other part of the job site. I wanna keep working. One of the cool things you can do in this sort of scenario is belay myself, as I can belay this piece myself, by myself, as the climber. I don't have any hardware in here, I'm not gonna take a big piece, I'm not too worried about having a lot of friction. I can actually take a bigger piece if I wanted to, just by adding some extra friction around some branches, something along those lines. Um, or heck, I could even go all the way around like that if I need the friction. In this case, I don't. I've got a little natural crotch up there. I'll tuck it behind one little branch just so I don't experience any load. And then I'm gonna tie a little munter hitch. I've got a big oval carabiner, which I like to use for munters. Gonna make sure that the tailing end of this oval carabiner is not rubbing on the gate so it doesn't accidentally open it up. In this case, I'm just gonna attach it to one of my two bridges. So I've got myself anchored to the tree with a choked off tying point. I've got my rigging line that I want to have plenty of slack. Oh man, there's not plenty of slack. <laughs> but I'm gonna wish there was. Looks like the ground he left it on the porter wrap. Anyway, I'll get some slack. And I'm gonna have this set up to where it's not gonna interfere with my climb line. I've got my secondary work positioning line here. I'll go, to, go ahead and cut this piece off, belay it by myself. Here we go. For a piece like this, I'm gonna do a little bit of a step cut. I overlap my cuts, but left it intact so that I can actually put one hand on this rope and I could break that hinge by hand and I could start lowering this sucker down. Now obviously this actually wasn't negatively rigged. This is rigged so that I've got my tying point above it. I could do the same scenario when I'm negatively rigging and I'll demonstrate that next. Once it's hanging here, I can decide whether or not I need friction. If I've got enough, do I need more? I think I've got too much friction. I don't need my munter hitch. So I'm gonna just unhook that. No more munter. Now I can just roll it, let it go down by hand. Better hope the grounding comes back now because otherwise your rope's stuck. One way or another, you're gonna stop working. So the last pick we just took, we weren't exactly negatively rigged and it was really easy. I'm actually gonna take a little bigger piece now and demonstrate a slightly variation on the same concept where we're gonna add some friction. So I've got my climb line and this is a um, 16 strand. So it actually holds up fairly well to natural crotch rigging. I wouldn't necessarily do this with a double braid. Uh, they tend to glaze over a little bit more easily, but this one's good. You can do this with triple strand because it's cheap. It's a great way to go. Triple strand is a little bit stretchier, so it gives you even a little more cushion. But basically I've got my rope routed. It's gonna come up. I'm gonna go around the trunk, um, over those, over these two little limbs I've got going on here. And I gotta make sure it comes out on the bottom, but over a limb, because what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna bring this up here above what I'm doing, tie it off up here, and then I'm gonna cut this piece and it's gonna catch it. But I wanna make sure that the piece doesn't land over the top of the rope, because it'll just lock it in place, and it can be a pain to get free from there. So you wanna make sure it's coming up underneath, so that when it goes down, it'll slide easily. So before I tie that though, gotta make my little face cut. So I've got my two tying points. Gonna make a little face cut here in the direction of the lean of this top. This way. Quick check, looks good. Let's set this rope up here. Once again, I'm just gonna use a little running bowling because that's where it's at. 
Maybe sooner or later a groundie will come back and help me rig this. But for now, I'm gonna do this by myself. Let's go. There we go. So you can see how that's oriented. As this piece falls, I'll have a single wrap around the tree and it'll have plenty of friction. In this case, I'm not gonna munter it to myself because it's gonna have some momentum and I don't wanna get pulled into the tree hard. I don't think it will because I got plenty of friction, but I am gonna run through this carabiner because it's gonna make it easier for me to grab it. Like I, the rope is gonna stay right here even as it starts to run. So I'm gonna use my, use my saw, make a back cut and lower this down. Here we go. Clear. Real close there. Got my rope. Oh, needs just a little bit more. Oh, this thing's not a silky and it is terrible. Let's just go like this. There it goes. And away we go. Nice. Nice soft landing for myself. Lower that down, all the way down flat. And now we can reset for the next one. Simple, no hardware, plenty of friction. So that was a little demo for you on using just your rope for some negative rigging. And even if you're gonna do it, uh, not even necessarily needing to have a ground knee on the ground, uh, just rigging through your own harness and with friction there in the air. So hopefully you found that useful. It's kind of a more advanced trick. You know, practice this stuff low and slow or with good supervision, because uh, in these types of scenarios, there's certainly more risk of rope on rope friction, melting your climb system or melting uh, your, your backup system, one or the other or both. And so you really gotta think things through and be well aware of where all the ropes are going. But it's a great, simple, light, effective system that works just as well with some of the newer ropes especially if they're solid braids, as it does with even the old three strand, which are cheap. Um, so it's a good way to go. Hopefully you found that useful. And thanks for joining me here at Strider Trigger, and I'll catch you next time.